this week's feast? The USS Butterscotch from Stranger Things. Ahoy, sailors and scoop fanatics. Whether you're a Russian operative or just a couple of teenagers trying to get to the bottom of things, you'll want to hop on the USS Butterscotch and take a trip into a world of flavor. Every good ship needs a sail, so kick things off by combining an egg and heavy cream, then sugar, vanilla extract, and finally melted butter before whisking in some flour until the batter is smooth. Next, add this batter to your waffle cone iron and make them according to the directions for the iron. Prepare the sails by cutting your waffle cone into quarters and using a skewer to give it a slight bent shape. We rested these on the side of a bowl so they would keep the curve. The USS Butterscotch of course needs butterscotch. So melt butter and combine with heavy cream and brown sugar in a medium saucepan. Keep stirring until the sugar has completely dissolved and bring the mixture to a simmer for four to six minutes. Remove from the heat and add in your salt and vanilla extract. Let's begin assembling. We got these cute boat shaped containers from Amazon. So buy some bananas that fit the size, cut them in half and slowly start to put this ship together with some cookies on the bottom, bananas around it, and then one scoop of strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla for the full Neapolitan flavor. Dress this with some more cookies on the side, drizzle as much butterscotch as you want on the top, sprinkle on some crushed pecans, and finish with a layer of canned whipping cream. Finally, add in our waffle cone sails, put your classic cherry on top, and voila! There are plenty of strange things in Stranger Things, but no one's doubting the awesomeness of the USS Butterscotch. Seriously, you can convince anyone to do anything if you offer them one of these babies. Share it with your friends, coworkers, mind flayers, and demigorgons, and set sail together on a journey of friendship and sugar. Bon appétit. Who's that patron? It's James Forrest! James Forrest! Oh, all right. Chaz, Chaz. Set sail on mm, the S. S. Butterscotch. Express. Express. Mm. Mm. I love banana splits, you know? You do? I never had these growing up because I thought they were too much. What do you mean? Too much in what way? Well, look how much there is. It's massive. There's so much going on. So when I finally did have one, I realized that no, banana splits are just enough, if not enough. As a little kid, any amount of ice cream was too much for you? Well, Three scoops of different flavors, one way too much, excuse me, and bananas and cookies and a little sales. I mean, look. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be an amazing dad one day. Mmm, I love the taste of these sales. Yeah, there's something about banana splits that just ext screamed extravagance to young Jimmy Wong. And that was not an <laughs> extravagant kid, so that's that's that story. Wow. But, but that was exciting. But this is delicious. Yeah. And you get to relive your Stranger Things dreams. By the way, if you need a Halloween costume, these seem pretty simple. Ta da you got half of it from Amazon. Mm -hmm. Sewed on a little bit of things. Print out a little name tag. We got even name tags on this thing. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We're, Scoops what is Ahoy it? is here Scoops for you. Scoops Ahoy is here for you. At your service. Bringing you the best SS Butterscotches on this side of the Mississippi. There's a lot of room on this side of the Mississippi. I don't know. Is Wait, that... where's the phrase originally even from? Well, I'm from Texas and we use it there a lot. You do? Well, yeah, because Mississippi is only two states over. Must be a point of pride then, you guys think here. But it's better. also a river. So maybe they're talking about the Mississippi River. That's what I, that's what I always assumed it was. <laughs> maybe I thought it was a state. On this side of, what do the, well, they call it? The Mississippi. You're right. Aha! Aha! Big brain power. <laughs> That's why we're working at Scoops Ahoy in a shopping mall. <laughs> well, that's why we we're got... still in high school. Yeah. Where uh... we're learning geography, mm -hmm. U.S. geography. Yeah. Right. And we're sailing so around the United States in the SS Butterscotch. We're just cruising on along with our sails, our very primitive technology here. And it's healthy, has a banana in here, right? Is that how this works? <laughs> Either way, this is really fun. I know all of you are Stranger Things fans out there. All of you. I know we are. So. Cool down, eat a giant, you know, Sunday split of just delicious, I don't know, everything. Like what, all your favorite things. Banana, ice cream, homemade butterscotch sauce. That is the jam mm -hmm. right there. Cherries, cookies, cones, you name it, this bad boy's got it. And two of my favorite ice cream flavors. Vanilla and strawberry. Wow, wah, how, wah, wah, what a, what a, what, a, what an evolved palate this child has. Mm, for a high schooler, he certainly likes advanced tastes. Yep. <laughs> I dripped on myself. <laughs> it's going down. But look at this thing go. Dude. Oh, it landed right here. You saved the drop. I did. Good oh. to the last drop, y'all. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> I don't even 
about that one. Guys, <laughs> we are clearly still high schoolers, like taking our jobs at Scoops Ahoy very seriously and bringing you a legit recipe to this Did you ever hang delicious out the mall? SS butterscotch sundae. Excuse me, did I ever hang out at the mall? Just curious. Did I grow up in the 90s? I mean, that was the ultimate hangout. I did not hang out in the mall. What other gems of childhood are you going to drop on us today, Mr. It's not a gem of childhood, it's just how boring I was. I just didn't go out and like party. You didn't like banana splits. You didn't it's hang out at the mall. It's not that I didn't like banana splits. I thought they were extravagant. And also, I think my mom would scoff at me if I wanted to buy one. She'd be like, you want that? How about you just get a scoop of ice cream and be happy about it? So what would you do when you hang out at the mall? I, I, I would hang out at the mall to like go to the arcade. Okay, That's like the I love I Sam go. Goody, so I was like cruising the CDs. Ooh, nice. I was always like trying to look cute for boys. I was extremely boy crazy. Um, what else was I doing at the mall? I was not boy crazy, nor did I like Sam Goody. And you probably didn't even like girls at that age. Because you don't like banana splits or walking around the mall. <laughs> you know what? I do remember. <laughs> Remember this? We there was like a CD service where you'd pay like fifteen bucks. It's called Columbia House. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I didn't go to Sam Goody because Sam Goody is a freaking ripoff. No, but to that Columbia was a hack House. too. That was a scam, and you probably had your address on it forever. Yeah. Sending you CDs, and you have to send the money back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, it's, it wasn't like Netflix where you just mail them back. They would charge you for the extra ones. So Columbia House. I got scammed. Also, my family would buy CDs from Costco. That's where we would get them. Oh. I didn't know Costco had CDs. Costco has everything. But they don't have CDs anymore. No, I bet they still do at some Costco's. I know that they still have uh, all of my dad's sock collection, that's for sure. Where he buys socks from every <laughs> single time. <laughs> it was. That's amazing. Again, can you maybe understand why I thought a banana split was extravagant? What? What it does that have to do with anything? Because my dad was like, I'm not gonna pay money for Your a special Your dad buys sock. bulk socks from Costco. This is a bulk ice cream. This what is not mean? bulk ice cream. This is like $20 for one thing, or I guess however much it would cost in the, in the 90s. I don't know, 10 bucks? I think that a banana bucks, split is bucks. an idea of bulk. This is Costco sized ice cream. In Stranger Sand, Things. Uh, Sunday. In Stranger Things, two girls get an ice cream cone or a cup and it's like a buck 75. So this has to at least be five, six dollars. Back then? Yeah, that's a lot of money. I don't know about back then. I don't know, man. Either way, this was delicious. <laughs> and I'm so glad that we made it because I can now fully appreciate appreciate how good Sundays are. Yeah, you've come a long way, Winnie John. Yeah, that's right. I'm still gonna poo my pants because I'm lactose intolerant. That's why I didn't eat that much. Otherwise, trust me, I would have been devouring this thing while my stomach already hurts. We've devoured a lot of it too, by the way. One might say we took the wind out of its sails. <laughs> and with that... Boom! I, Boom! We're gonna Set leave sail. you on that. Woo! Starboard! Oh, man. Port! Sailing turns. He has completely sunk this ship, so it's ah, time to go. That's right, I've derailed this you train. Guys, no, it's a ship, it's a ship. This ship has <laughs> sailed. It's time to go. But it's time to go. we hope you make this. And if you guys do, be sure to let us know on all social medias, yeah. Instagram, Facebook. If you guys make this, we wanna see it. You know, we are on all the social medias, so you could follow us or find us anywhere. And tweet it at us, send it to us, we will definitely reshare, because it's a really fun recipe to make, especially with friends. Really cute, and, Bonus points if you make these killer costumes, man. <laughs> Actual bonus points. I will, uh, what will you do? I don't know, something. If He'll you send you if, some lactate in the mail. <laughs> we do have a very special announcement though, and that is probably by the next time you see us, we may not be in this kitchen anymore. No. We're leveling up. So. We might be somewhere brand new, custom designed by us, for us, for Feast of Fiction. So you guys, you know. Bid us farewell. No, no us not adieu. us. Not us, the kitchen. Us in here. Bid the kitchen farewell. This will probably be the last episode you see of us here, unless we do a throwback edition or something. Yeah, but we hope you're excited. We hope you can't wait for the changes. We also have a cookbook coming next year and lots of fun stuff. You can actually yeah. find out more about that by becoming one of our patrons. At patreon.com slash feast of fiction, we shout out one lucky patron every single week. We also chat with them in our Discord and they get sneak peeks as to how we're building the new Feast of Fiction set, the cookbook, all sorts of cool stuff. So you get to see all that and talk to us and just have that nice private personal connection. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but for the rest of you, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you want to see us make next on the show. And as always, uh, tweet us, subscribe to us, let us know how much you love us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that validation. <laughs> but if you would like to provide it, we won't say no. Okay, you guys, hope you enjoyed it. And um, 
We'll see you next time. We have some really cool kitchen stuff to show you next time. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.